Everybody, please. Daniel chapter 11. The book of Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. Daniel. <laughs> Shall we stand and give God honor as we read the word? Everybody stand unless you are a witch. But there is no witch in this hall. I know witch enter across our gate. I'm just joking, okay? But give God honor. Stand on your feet because he gave you that leg. Daniel chapter 11. Verse 32. Are you, have you seen it? If you have not seen it, say hold on there. If you don't have a Bible, send your hair and buy a Bible. Send your television, send your phone and get a Bible. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do excellence. But and such as do, no matter how many they are, wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt. With what? Flatteries. Close your Bible. Spirit of God, Ugoem knows that no man can do these beautiful great things except you be with him. Seeing how God anointed Jesus and he went about doing good because God was with him. Therefore today be with my mouth, be with my heart, be with my spiritual antennas. And speak to me first of all because the husband man shall be the first particle of the fruit. May I be the first person that will get a word from you. Because I'm just a vehicle. And to me speak to these people. Do something for every one of us that no man can do for us. Give hope to the hopeless. Change lives. 
wants every man or woman that will hear or that is hearing the sound of my voice to be thoughtful, creative, productive to his generation. Let the strength of the Holy Ghost take over my spirit, man. Let the gift of word of knowledge, word of wisdom, discernment of spirit, and gift of power, and miracles and healings be made manifest. For Jesus, as he was preaching and teaching, the power of God was present. Therefore, if it was present, when he was preaching and teaching, it must be present here now. Because you're not a partial God. Heal the sick. Set the captives free. Grant us access to the fullness of Christ. This I ask and I ask that you give us understanding of your word. In Jesus name and the sense of God say a good beautiful amen. Oh my God, can you say a good amen? Yeah. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor! God will do for you what you're looking for. In Jesus' name, sit down in the Holy Ghost. agreement is a covenant. Agreement in business. A spoken word that has nothing written that is not endorsed or stamped back. But two of you agreed on it. It's covenant. All the recommendations that God gave which says, honor your mother and your father. Hey, hey. That is in the Lord. And it shall be well with you and you'll be favored. It's a covenant. Whatsoever a man saw it, it's a, an agreement on the earth. Whether you were there, whether it was spoken or not, but you met it, it's an agreement. Thou shalt not take your neighbor's land. And if you take your neighbor's land, this and that and that will happen to you. It's an agreement. If you break it, it will break you. For the scripture cannot be broken. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. There are so many men and women that are listening to the sound of my voice that are suffering here today because of a broken covenant. Lord, I ask for your mercy. Let your mercy be released. Someone say, Lord, show me your mercy. Covenant. There are so many people today your life is a life of flattery. People have flattered you to the point that you have lost your sense of direction, your sense of judgment, your sense of reasoning. And you've never found out, ask yourself, why is this man flattering me? Why is this woman flattering me? And the flattering you don't even know the reason why it's happening to you. And you don't even know why the person flattering you is flattering you. Ladies and gentlemen, what is flattery? Flattery is excessive praise from a man because of an interest he has. Of what he will gain. What he will collect from you. What he will give from you. And no man can be arrested by the flattery of man if he has not broken the covenant. Come on. Masukana, Enganuna, Kana, Robandi, Kanana, Shilabando, Sikilamando. Stand up, sir. I don't know who you are. Become, 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 says the Lord. 
Become. 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 For I am the God that moves ahead of the weak. And I move ahead of those that are maltreated, oppressed, intimidated. And those that men wants to embarrass. I am the God that stands for them. I, the Lord, thy God, will stand for you. I will stand for you. I will fight this battle. I will recover what is yours that is unlawfully taken from you. Says the Spirit of Grace. I don't know what it is, but this is what God told me. Hello. 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 On the court has gone on vacation. I allow this case to linger to this time that I may give that man a chance to allow you have what is yours. But he has been, he has handled his heart and feel that he can cheat you out of what is your own. That property, that property in the hand of a man, 14 days from today, shall be given back to you. I don't know what it is, oh. I don't know what it is. If it's because of you, I came to church today, I'm okay. Aha, Shele, Bragade, Nabrang, Dongre, the Cross of Sontre, Lingra, Dongre. Your case is different for the sake that a borrower is a slave to the lender. Hey, Oga, hear me. My name is Hugo Wems. I'm not a hit and run prophet. If what I'm telling you does not come to pass, I will tear Bible and stop preaching. Amen. You listen to what I'm saying. Your case, your end, your matter is different from that scripture that they are using against you. They said, For a borrower shall be a slave to the lender. Eight million naira is involved. Eh? Eight million. And it's a loan that you took. From somebody, eh? I took a loan from somebody, and the person has seized your property. That loan you have paid up the interest, am I right? And you have paid the money, but the person has seized your house and say you sold it out to him. Am I right? Am I right? I'm not too much. You're too much, sir. Not too much. You're too much. I am not too much. Don't say it before God calls me to me. <laughs> who is man that will speak a thing and it will come to pass when the Lord has not commanded him has not commanded him has not commanded him <laughs> stand up stand up you have cried enough My name is Broduko, ordinary human being, a man of life. I feel, pinch me, pinch me. Yeah. I pinch you. You know, Philip, I felt that you felt I'm a human being. Yes, sir. He has manipulated the agreement two of you wrote. Yes, sir. And said you sold the house to him. But you took it to take a loan. And I've paid the loan, sir. You paid all? I paid, I borrowed two million. Mm -hmm. I used my house as a collateral mm -hmm. to the man. Mm -hmm. I paid the money I borrowed. Mm -hmm. Then we bargained for six months uh -huh. of the interest mm -hmm. that I will be paying 300,000 every month, mm -hmm. which is 15% of that two million. Uh -huh. And the six months, this thing I paid it, sir. And the, which but, is 1.8 including but, the 2 million but something accrued to 8 million I don't know what it is he said uh, going back to collect my paper he said no that I wouldn't do business that I sold my, my building to him look at my face let me remove my glasses are you looking at my face he will use speed Amen. and crying 
Amen. And give you back what belongs to you. Amen. Calm down. For God will take your battle. Lift your two hands up. Church, stand up. Now why you they run? No be you say you be your car. Now why, now why you, you they run? <laughs> Come back and fight. This man. Who is Obiora in this matter? Is the man I borrowed money from. Ora, get me and Rina. And I'm Richard. This church, bet me if it does not give you that man, that pe that paper back to you. And the church of Jesus Christ come together. Everybody holds hands together. Everybody. Hold on with somebody else. We join hands together today with our brother. And we command the heart of a man that is deceitful and wicked to be turned around by the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost convict this man of sin, judgment, and the righteousness of God. And let the fear of God come upon the man. Amen. And let the man begin to seek for you from today. Amen. And ask you to come and take your property back. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind. Cast out the spirit of greed and covetousness in him. Amen. The spirit of wickedness in him. The spirit of humiliation. The spirit that wants to use what you have to manipulate you today we revoke it Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. we release that land that house back to you Amen. in the name of jesus and the sense Amen. of god say what Amen. Sit down, sir. For they that break the covenant shall he corrupt with what? Talk back to me. Somebody, what will he use to corrupt the person? Eh? He will use what? Flatteries. you that the spirit of flattery has come from God himself to corrupt your destiny. God is corrupting you with flatteries. Why? Because you know what God says over an issue. You have received rebuke. You have received advice. You received counsel not to continue in what you're doing but you resisted. So you know what God will do? He will corrupt you with flatteries from the people that are around you. They will begin to give you name. Child, this is big, big, big man. Hey, Agwani. Nukumbado. Hey, why you keep here? Hey, you are wonderful. Nobody's like you. Without you, everybody will suffer. Hey, and you'll be swallowing it. Why did God allow it? Because you broke a covenant of obedience. You broke the covenant of submission. You broke the covenant of fear of God. You broke a certain order. Where is somebody? You know, there was a man that was my friend. I don't lose friends. Are you listening to me? I can endure anybody. I can tolerate any friend. I can tolerate any human being. But do you know why I said that he was my friend? It's because he is late now. That was why I said he was. I can never be a friend of a dead person. A dead person was my friend. <laughs> he stood up one morning. And said to me, There is about to go and get married to somebody. Hey, 
I called him, I said, okay. This is what God told me. Oh, that as you as you did where you did, they, they do wine carrying of that lady. Fire will come into your business and burn everything down. You will be where you are. There will be trouble. Because the journey you're making is not in order. Are you following, friends? I said to the man, this girl, the way you won't go carry Mary, you are using her situation to manipulate her for marriage. <laughs> and you know that the man that introduced this girl to you is the person that wants to marry her. But you have now offered her something that she doesn't know what to do about. And her mind is now weak. Don't go in that marriage. He said, hey, it's, it's, it's late. Uh, 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 do you know that John Epp, them all of them are waiting for me? This and that. I say, okay. Immediately you finish that marriage, you will never have peace in your land at the name. Okay? Okay? It will be battle plus battle and battle. You will not enjoy this marriage. It will give birth to sorrows because your sin is pregnant. Me, three me. Yeah, I'm wrong. He didn't listen to me. He cut off from me. Myself and my friend, Senator Kwasa, we sat him down and spoke to this man. He insisted. And went ahead. Many people talked to him. He said, ah, no, because he has so much money. He has all that it takes. I pastor the man, all of you, you may know the person I'm talking. We all cried. Beg this man. The man no listen. He has so much money. Nobody in their family can talk to him because he's the breadwinner. He's the Oko Susi known as the family. So who are you to talk? Only cable. Before I finish what I'm talking, he has taken seven chief test titles in one day. Seven obese came together in his company. Chair chief. That same day, that same week, the government <laughs> of Abacha, through his friend, General Chris Garoba, gave him another contract of millions and millions and millions and millions. As they were talking that, Angola government declared his drink the national drink. Are you listening to what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, you know who I'm talking. And I beg him, beg him, beg him, beg him, beg him. I say, no. Nobody can talk to the man. Nobody. Before I know what's happening, he bought 27 cars and shared to many people. And the people began to sing his praise. He's a nice man. He's a good man. He's the other one. They are talking about that. He brought money and equipment. He was sharing things like, hey, anyhow. I called my soccer. He said, what am I talking? My prophecy is not good. If my prophecy is right, why is he getting not? If God is against what he wants to, why is God giving him too many blessings here and there? Listen to me. Are you hearing me? There are blessings that come from God, number one. Eh? And they come as a result that you are in good standing with God. There are some prosperity you get because of your hard work. Are you following what I'm saying? And there's a prosperity you get because of your contacts. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And there's a prosperity you get because you've made a name. Am I talking? Those ones are not God. It is the law of life. That he that walketh shall eat. A man that is diligent in his way shall bear rules. Come on, are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you people following? So don't think that these things are confirmation that God is with you. No! Are you listening to what I'm saying? Because if you have 10,000 cars and it's a proof that you're a pastor that is doing well, then that quarter is better than all of us. Are you following what I'm saying? He looked at me and had to distance himself from me. That day, they were doing the thing. They were doing the wine carry in Okosu. 
they went to his place and burned down his bank, burned down his business, shut down everything. Before he could come, he has lost almost everything. One month later, government began to attack his business of 3.9 billion. Seized it. Another one, trouble began to happen. Every area he moves, trouble. Trouble everywhere. Trouble and trouble and trouble. He was in that trouble until he died. Yet, he did not recover anything. People were praising him. People were telling him great things that made him not to hear the voice of God. That convinced him that he's in the right way, right track. Hello? Why? Why were they praising him? Why did God allow him? Listen to me. Some of you will be corrupted with flatteries. This girl did too much. You know she has taken somebody's husband. And the person bought him a Range Rover. One. You know that he's a thief. He's a criminal. He's a four and nine person. He has done some bad things. I don't know do you know why God will allow them to be totally gone, to corrupt you with flatteries? Because he warned you and warned you refused to. Many times when God will be talking to you, warning you, you will not listen. You know what God will do? He will use people to corrupt you with flatteries. If to right now, I will say, Father God, help me not to be corrupted with flatteries. He will send praise singers to you. He will make anywhere you go, people will stand up and give you seat. It's a corrupt, it's a flattery. Am I talking, friends? So that he will be, you'll be encouraged in your iniquity so that you cannot reason. is not in order in the eyes of man, even in the eyes of the devil. The, somebody will be justifying it for you. Don't listen to them. What are they talking about? I beg, I don't know, oh, stop that rubbish, my friend. Be yourself. I mean, and then your statement will change. I must be myself. I do not care what anybody says. This is my life. I have my life to live. Am I talking, friends? I don't give a damn. I don't care. And all of you can go to hell. It is not your business. If I die, I die. If I, they borrow Esther's language and use it wrongly. If I perish, I perish. And they will... The person by the side said, don't mind that you're not perishing anything. Do you know who you are? Do you know what you can do? Do you know the power you have? Then you see how it, if you if you how handsome you are, if you how glorious you are, if you how fine you are, hey, then the person will come out. If it's a girl, if it's a girl that is trying to corrupt you with flatteries, what does he say? Hey, well, come, my fine man, look at you. Oh, I need the ego. Am I talking, friends? What is the purpose to corrupt you with flatteries? Because you never knew you broke a covenant. If it's a man that wants to corrupt you, he will not say, Come, man. Are you, he will say, Nah, can you run my can you first time? We'll go later so that they can see you. And he'll be praising you. He'll be doing everything. He will tell you you're the greatest. You're the most wisest. If we have three of you in our village, the village will be okay. Nigeria needs you. In fact, you are an Abuja lady. You are that and that. Can you tell me that governor and rock? He's another useless man. Look at you. The girl is married. They call him useless girl, man. Am I talking, friends? He will tell you everything. Telling you this other. The person who is seeing this thing about you is nothing. And he wants to use you. The reason why he's praising you is that you are an instrument to progress, enrich, project, establish him or her. 
So he will flatter you. And you will never see a fault in the person again. Because human nature is always attracted to the person who praises him or her. Only an eto can I like Egypt. But you see, the one that will be a blessing to your life, he will make you to be angry with the person, see fault in the person. At a point, the sight of the person will be irritating you. Why? They that break the covenant, God will corrupt them with what? Flatteries. What is flattery? Excessive praise from somebody because of the person's interest, the person's purpose, the person's desire, the person's vision. Am I talking, friends? There is nothing you will do that the person will see a fault in. Anything you do, don't worry. Right? You're a human being. Mother Cable, no more. Mother Cable. I saw something make three before. I'm going to make a dark. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Then every other person around you that is correcting you, you'll be seeing them as people who are finding your fault. People who don't want good for you. Why? Your heart has been corrupted with what? Flatteries. And when your heart is corrupted, the next thing I hope to you is that you will stop knowing God. Am I talking, friends? Your desire in life will be to know people who matters, who is in charge, connections. That's what you'll be looking for. Am I talking, friends? Are you listening? And that evil spirit will promise you, I'll connect you. I'll connect you to this way. I'll connect you to this way. I'll connect you to this way. Uh, can I have a witness here this morning? Let us tell ourselves the truth. Have you not had that experience before? Can, can I talk back to me? Are we, can I go to one I said, God, I said, I caught. I've been at church. I can't go. She has. Omwini Munda has ever suffered it. Me, I've suffered it. Then, your confidence will be in your beauty, in your handsomeness, in your personality, in your knowledge, in your skills. And because you have skill, you will get something. Am I talking, friends? Because you have personality, people want you. They want to use it to grace and occasion. Am I talking, friends? But listen to me. <laughs> the reason why people break covenant and get corrupted by flattery is that they don't know their God. Everyone says they don't know their God. If you know who your God is, eh? Not just that he is a healer. Not that he is a miracle man. Not just that he brings prosperity and increase. Not just knowing that. But if you know that this man is a God of wrath, he will not mess up. If you know that this God is a God of judgment, he is a he will not mess up. But you only know that God that makes you, that leads you from grass to grace. You have not known the God that brings grace to grass. But they that know their God, they will be strong and they will do exploit. What is exploit? Ability to do the most impossible thing on earth. They will do. There was a time they nearly killed me with praises. When I go to a crusade, the people begin to trust me. I say, the man that is coming to the stage, he's a Tokaradu man. He is a. Uh, Oracle. He is this. Let me tell you for something. If you're a man of God and people started calling you Oracle, you have been sent the spirit of corruption to flatter you. God has sent flattery spirit to corrupt you. They will not tell you, ha! You know, nobody prophesied like you. You are the greatest prophet. And you will not come to you as you go, you say, because the spirit, they will tell you, ah, you're this. As you're preaching, they will tell you, ah, you're coming to Hey, I'll tell you more. Hey, scanning machine. Hey. Oh, like I was talking to them, I said, I'm too much. God forbid. Because when you accept that, place, the Holy Ghost will decide. The devil will not come to attack that man, they say, it's too much. Eh? 
He will kill you. <laughs> I'm telling you. And, uh, this is the Mumbai of Enugu State. I said, God forbid. I can't pass through what Papa Mumbai passed through. If you want to be a Mumbai of Enugu State, get ready for your children to die one day. Get ready to give birth to a child and it will be a cripple. <laughs> Some of you don't know why that song is sang. Jesus. It was a day he was on his way to crusade. The one of the car carrying his children drove inside the river and all of them died. He came up and sang. Jesus. I went to crusade. Said, keep them in the mortuary. Went to crusade. If it's some of you, you change church. You will change a God immediately. You know, which God? God herself. Can you kiss in the day by hand? Amen. One day, I was very down, sick. But I said, Man, oh, Papa, why should God allow this thing to be happening? I said, Can you talk what may happen to? <laughs> One man. One day went to ESBS and met Ike, 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 Ike Woke. He said, I like that man is preaching on radio. I want to pay for one year for him. But don't let him know who paid for it. One year, the man went and paid. The man went on the road going. They called him and said the wife had an accident the same day, the same time. He returned back to Ike Woke. He said, I want to increase it to two years. He came to his house. They said Fulani people has entered his uh, pineapple palm plantation and burnt everything that is there. And I said, now I know that God is with that man. Okay. Can you imagine? Fidel is there from Oboka. One day when my son was small, about eight years, I was in the restaurant in a supermarket buying something. As I was buying something, someone, someone just kept that told the, the man that was, he said, hey, don't take any money from this man, I'll pay everything. I like this man. He said, really, don't, I'm gonna know. I entered the car and left. So when I finished buying things, I said, how much is it? The man said, 68,000. But somebody has paid for you. I said, how did he know how much I'm going to pay? He said, the man said, whatever I buy here, they should call him. He will pay for it. And told him not to tell me who he is. I said, who is this man? Who is this man? Who is this man? One day, I could walk a kilo road himself. Where the man came and paid for my television broadcast for one year. He now came and said, Now nah, this man, I'm going to like it so much. If there is a day, I'm going to go radio broadcast. Who is this? If there is a day. <laughs> so the day, if I am over, was waiting. The reception was at Zodiac Hotel. So he was invited. And when they were introducing the top notchers that are there, they said, we want to welcome a man, chairman of this, chairman of that, chairman of that. Brother Fidel is headed to the high table. As he came out, I said, Jesus Christ, is he the man? I went and held me. The man said, oh, they've spoiled his business. And that's how we became friends. If it is some of you, that gave offering and you went back your tire loose for road went flat you say the worms is not of god a woman has not had a child for almost 12 years in crossing her state as i was raised i lay hand on her she went under the anointing went to him that i didn't know she was about three months pregnant the woman went home and had miscarriage. The pastor of the church called me and said, what kind of hand did you lay on that woman? For 12 years, she has been looking for a child. Three months pregnant, after he touched her, she had miscarriage. We go and come and explain to the church. Are you listening? I am Pastor Victor and no more They fixed emergency program for me in that church. And I went. So I sat down there. 
And as I was ministering, I went to another woman. That was, I didn't know it was the same woman. I said, come out. The Lord told me you're going to have three children at a go. Who? Oh. The man came and said, Ugo Williams, you maybe explain to the church that one where Miss Kelly said three months, three children. I said, uh, he said, that is the woman. I said, hey, God has given her triple for her troubles. And we left. Months later, she was pregnant. Months after, she gave birth without operation. Three boys. God vindicated who? Who wept. I prophesy to somebody here. Now listen to me. I want to prophesy to those who don't believe in me. Keep your hand down. Those who believe in me. To every one of you that does not believe in me, congratulations and you did well. Don't believe in me. Believe in my God now. Now I prophesy to you that is sitting down there and doing tumbom tumbom in your heart. Whether it's real or not real. Everything that your heart desire that will build your faith up to serve God better. In a material way, in a financial way, watch out. You have it now. Uh, all of you don't believe in me. Uh, I'm not going to have trouble. I got it. We've done them ever. They don't believe me. Ladies and gentlemen, keep to the covenant of God. For if you begin to break any covenant you made with somebody, you know, you can have a covenant, I can have a covenant with her now. Eh? And you now go and have another covenant with another person. My own will prevail over that person's own with you because God is a respecter of the first things principles. What do I say? The scripture says the covenant God has with man. He said, if a young maiden wants to marry a man and he's in love and they've agreed to have the covenant to marry and he goes to his father and the father says no. He said, the covenant is broken, it's useless because the first principal covenant is with the father before you had it with the boy. Are you following him, friends? He that cannot provide for his family agreement is being written you know, is worse than an infidel. Is it told the Bible? Now he went to another place and said, and he has denied the faith. Then you go to another place and said, he that cannot make things for his family. He said, he is worse than an infidel, number one. Number two, he said, his ground shall be dry and rain will not fall on his ground. Now, the Bible says, for people who say, why is he sleeping? He fell, he slipped and fell and died. He did this was sleeping. The Bible says, that a man that cannot keep to covenant, his way shall be, God will carry okra, warrior knows here. He says his way shall be what? Slippery. So some of the things you bind and come with is his God. Oh. Have you not seen how many days you did 40, 40 days fasting and prayer binding? Did it didn't bind? That will tell you that this is God. The covenant of Titan is an agreement. It is not that day that you broke it that it will happen. It will take a long, it may take a very long time. Am I talking, friend? Because there's a pattern of judgment. Now, can I tell you this and I close? Are you ready to hear this? Now, two of you come. <clears throat> come, come fast. This is a generation. This is a generation. But this generation has been having troubles and pains and these are not you. Troubles and troubles and troubles and troubles and troubles. Then that generation went off. Are you listening? Then the next generation came, the same trouble started. The third one it started. You know what the devil will do in his pattern? He will now, dis he will now pro distance this man hmm? and give God for three generations. Am I listening? Are you listening to me? Those things will no longer happen again. You know, so that you will not believe. You will not think that it is done. And this one will be flourishing, making money, doing everything, rising, building houses, buying cars, doing this one. His children will come up, make money, and do it. He will leave him. 
so that you will not go back the attack. To fire the demon finally, you will give gap. Then all of you will rejoice. When you have rejoiced, you all relax. You see, if I had to go man, if I had to go man, then when you're saying everything is done, 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 you will not go at the back and pick your own child, which is called the fourth generation. That grandmother gave birth outside marriage. The other one married this way outside marriage. Then he gave gap. Am I talking, you, friends? The pattern, but the pattern is still there. It will give a gap. That there's a gap does not mean it has ended. Then he will plan another way to do it. Am I talking, you, friends? He will plan another way to bring that shame and defilement of that generation without you knowing. He will make you to forget about it. He will wait for you in the fourth one. And that happened there. <laughs> then secondly, they want to marry from your child. They will now begin to trace you to where you people came from generations and generations. You won't know that you're writing a script that the devil wrote. I decree that every pattern that has been delayed waiting for breaking down your life is hereby arrested. Oh, that time is not tonight. I say he's arrested in the name of Jesus. They that break the covenant shall he corrupt with flatteries. May he never be our portions. In the name of Jesus, stand up on your feet. Stand on your feet. You blessed? Lift your hands up unto God. Put those two hands on the head. I want to pray for you. Please. All I want from you is a little amen. Every satanic package That has gained access to your life or to our lives by the reason of breaking a covenant and has launched us under the influence of the spirit of flattery to corrupt our generation, our business, our mind, our destiny, and our children. Father, today in the name of Jesus, let it be lifted up. Can you say a good amen? Let it be lifted up. Let it be no longer reasonable. Let it no longer corrupt my destiny. Let it not affect my children. Let it not affect my life and my dealings. But Lord God Jehovah, open our eyes that we may spot the cause and let the cause be broken. This we ask and we receive in the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody shout a loud amen. Oh, why don't you give God just a clap off for everybody? Give him a clap off for everybody.
out of acclamation. And they proclaim, My God, how great thou art. And I shall bow in a humble adoration. And they proclaim, My God, how great Thou art. Only the keyboard. Then sing my soul. Something softer, keyboard is please. My Savior, to Thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, and sing my soul. Number that come here. Great thou bring him here. How great thou art. How great thou Give me the communion. Face me, sir. Face me. phone and make sure you're in church because I had a revelation about you and it wasn't a good one but I believe that God reveals to redeem because I saw the spirit of death in your house while you were on bed and I saw it came to take your breath away from you like it's trying to choke you in your heart are you getting what I'm saying? What I'm saying, I don't know whether you know what I'm talking about. Eh? You had that experience, but it's over. You will not, God has given you more years. I lengthened your days on earth. In Jesus' name, go back to your seat. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the Holy Spirit of God. You need to believe God for, for you to have the capacity to understand, to have spiritual intelligence. The reason why Nigeria is suffering a lot of terrorism and banditry is because 
the military don't have enough intelligence or they have it, they ignored it. They acted and pretended they don't have. That's why we're suffering. Lack of intelligence. But our own is different because God, no power can censor our antenna except ourselves. And that is why, hold on. That's why the man you see standing here, there's no member of my church that said I come to his house. I don't go to people's house. All of you, you know what I'm saying. I don't know how your house is. I don't come to your house. I don't come to your place of work, your office. I know how God uses me. I don't want to enter your house and come back and come to church on Sunday and say Sunday, so I'm going to be buying for you. Am I understood? To gossips. Anything you're telling me, make sure you preach it as a message on Sunday. I will be my tell you what I used to do those days. Come and tell the church what you told me about that sister. Here come. You know why the Bible said there are some demons that go to twist the mouth of the prophets. The Bruce said they are prophets. I don't listen to stories, I don't listen to gossips. Am I talking, friends? So I'm careful. Easter Sunday, we're gathering here. We're gathering on Easter Monday. And it's going to be a beautiful service. God said to me, establishing the life of my people, the workings of resurrection. The what? The workings of resurrection. And uh, that, these two days, I am the guest speaker. Are you listening to me? First step, I said, no guest speaker abuse a church. No guest speaker can grow your church. So I, be, I prefer being more of the person that is the guest speaker. I know what we bring guest speakers is just to entertain you so I can see the other side of ministry. Am I talking first? Hello. If you ask Sister Benma, when we started it, we don't bring anybody to preach in our church. I don't bring anybody. My children preaches for me. And they make waves. Benma was a treasurer and a preacher. Obi was usher and a pastor in our church. Uzuchuku was driving me and he was pastoring. Every one of us. All the pastors that passed through me are the people that I raised. I never hired a hireling. I don't hire pastors to come and work with me. I don't. I hate even hiring instrumentalists. Ask him. We never had any hired instrumentalist when, when we started. No hired instrumentalist. We don't hire anybody. Because hirelings will mess you up. But your own children, if your service is seven, they will be there at six thirty praying in tongues. But the hirelings will come three hours after Sunday school. And if you don't call them on the phone, they will not come. And when they come, they do guy, guy for you. Ask Pastor, ask them, those days, I'll just push everybody aside. And I say, you were anointed. And I'll start singing. And power will move like no man business. Some of them are pastors here and all over the world. Some are married. Some of them are top people in government now. Hallelujah, somebody. If I had them learn keyboard, but the small thing I gave to them, that small thing, that's how they learned to play keyboard. Both teach all of them. And they were the best. No music ministry in this country has ever been like ever magnetic. If there's a return of the ever magnetic, you will run away when they come together. In church, I don't allow them to sing a song they didn't write. I always tell my people, the day I preach somebody's message, now sing somebody's song. So everybody in the church writes his own song and they sing it. I see Joma, they were in choir. Chime said they were in choir. Hallelujah, somebody. And they do new things that nobody knows how to do. 
So I pray that you people that have little children should raise your children now for our future instrumentalists and our future preachers. We encourage them. And very soon I'm going to start a music school here for instruments because my anointing is inside music. That's why I don't compromise with sound and music. You're not doing it, you're not doing it. And that you sing too well does not mean you are ministering to me. I, can't, I may not flow with you. Now what I'll teach you two dimensions of worship. Very soon, so you can understand. The worship part is an entertainment. He is there. Hallelujah, someone. Can I bless you the more? It is not by force. Tell your neighbor it's not by force. Say it so the things can hear. It's not by force. But it is whosoever will let him do what? Come. And what is the prophetic offering? A thousand naira prophetic offering. So come forward if you want to be a part of it. Just come. It's not by force. Father, I receive this prophetic offering and I ask that the promise of giving will hit their lives and their families and their children and their businesses in Jesus' name. Amen. God has anointed your voice for signs and wonders. Someone stand behind her. Not your God. Let's come on. We will transfer us to Let's come. Keep her. Leave her. God has anointed her voice. She's going to sing in a heavy way from today. She'll be flowing in the supernatural. God has lubricated her voice. She will minister and you will be saying, who is this person singing? From today. You, are you back? Come here. Cry. Cry, cry, baby. And I, what did I tell you? I said, if you come back, come to me. Make you feel like Holy Ghost. And I'm not aware. Is, is, am I prof? This is Mbada. Me, I'm, I'm your father. I missed you, baby. You know, she heaven gained her mother. You know, one thing with me, I don't like talking about death on my pocket. I don't like it. You're blessed. We love you. Don't worry, it's well. I receive this in Jesus' name. Mama, bless you. You're blessed for life. My sister, I pray for her. Come here. My daughter, come. Be yours. Son. Yes. It starts now. Faith is an art. Faith is a, a fact. But it's also an art. Take my microphone. Are you ready for the dedication? Please. Let's not waste time. We're late. Sing Hallelujah. us. Lead us. What is that microphone? If you came with your tithe, come forward with your tithe. Father, I receive the tithe into your storehouse and I ask that the promise of tithing will follow them all around. In Jesus' name. If you want to be a part of it, come forward. When it comes to the issue of money, I don't like dragging it. I receive it. I receive it. Some of you, when you lose somebody, you say you won't pay tithe. See, this is not the mother, but she's paying tithe. <clears throat> Why are, you, why are you nervous? Come out here and say, The righteous shall be as good as a lion. Father, in the name of Jesus, boldness. 
Piane ho machine ke na mere mo is a Jesus mama the reggae Piane ho machine ke na mere mo is a Jesus mama Stop coming stop coming I know the singer. Back up, back up, back up. I 